Dialing in your EQ. Depending on your playing style and instrument choice, you can use the EQ in two ways. Either with the enhanced control dialed in first, then using the EQ to fine tune your overall sound, or if you are very particular about your sound, you can disable the enhance feature and dial in every detail of your sound with the semi-parametric EQ on the amplifier. It is always best to start with your dials at 12 o'clock, as this is the flattest high fidelity sound you can get from the amplifier. Now, working with the elements of the tone you feel need adjusting, start to dial in your sound. Remember, if your instrument has an EQ dial, to set this as well and know where it is set to, because changing this in conjunction with the EQ on the amplifier can dramatically vary the results you can achieve. If when you play you feel you need more high end, start with the treble control. If the adjustments you make with the treble control sound too harsh, change the dial back to its original setting and try the high mid setting. Where you start with the EQ really depends on what you think is lacking in your sound, and while you can make dramatic changes to the EQ with the treble and bass controls, the mid section is highly flexible. So adjust the frequency affected as well at the level. When playing in a new venue, be aware that your overall sound can change dramatically, especially where rooms have columns or vaulted ceilings. Your EQ will allow you to compensate for these types of acoustic anomalies and allow you to get the sound that you need anywhere. With a little time, you will become familiar with the settings that suit you the most and what needs to be adjusted. 